So, got a question on my YouTube channel about getting out of isolation and how I did it. So the first step is not overwhelming yourself with where you wanna be and comparing it to where you are now. It's some, gonna be a massive step and anything worth doing is gonna take time. Whether you wanna learn an instrument, whether you wanna work out, anything takes time to see results that's worth it. So understand this is no different. You're not gonna go from being a recluse and socially isolated to a really charismatic, you know, outgoing person that can just go into any environment and be fine. It takes time. It took a lot of time for me because I was isolated for so many years. So understand it can be achieved, but it's gonna take time. So don't overwhelm yourself. Don't look at where you wanna be and go, oh my God, like I said in my last video, if you look down to the bottom of a cliff, it's scary. If you look up at where you wanna be, it's scary likewise, because it's such a big distance, it seems overwhelming, but it's not. You just have to take small steps as they come every day. The next step is examining your self-talk. How are you talking to yourself? I talk to myself like my, uh, I was my own worst enemy. Down talking to myself, I'm not capable of doing anything. You can't even do this. Look at you, you're overweight. You're, I just couldn't believe what, how I was talking to myself. If you really want to achieve what you want to achieve, you need to be your own best friend. You need to cheer yourself on. You need to be the hero of your story and help yourself get there. So examine yourself for, start journaling, seeing what poisonous daggers you have and poisonous beliefs you have about yourself. I'm not capable, I'm not worthy. All these things, start looking at how that could be affecting the outcomes of your life. So if you're self-talking to yourself in a negative way, how are you gonna feel confident? You know, let alone the comments you're gonna get outside, but if you yourself are talking to yourself in a negative way, it's a recipe for disaster. The next step, which is obvious, is that if you're suffering with a chronic illness, that's gonna make you feel awful. And if you're feeling awful, you're not gonna feel very good. So dealing with that, obviously, is a precursor to being social and getting out of this reclusive situation. When it came down to it, I stood myself in the mirror. I was like, I'm going to talk. You know, even if I didn't believe it, I faked it. I was like, you are worth it. You will be whatever it is five years from now. I love myself. You know, I do things like EFT and say, you know, I'm dealing with this situation right now. But at the end of the day, I love myself. I think I'm worth more than this experience. And I built myself up and I was like, right, realistically, I know I look like a potato at the moment. I'm losing my hair. I'm <laughs> overweight. I was nearly 16 stone and it, it doesn't look good, but I love myself still. I still love myself and this isn't the way it's always going to be. So I took a step back. Right. What do I need to go to get there? I started working out. I started, you know, eating well, which was just part of my recovery in general. And over time, I had the weight started coming off. I'd look at myself and go, hang on a minute, I look a little bit better than usual. <laughs> and just small steps, everything in small steps, because when you look at a big picture, it just seems unachievable. If you look at the a picture like, I don't know, the Mo Mona Lisa, you look at that and go, wow, I could never do that. Well, if, if the guy that, <laughs> I'm showing my ignorance here. I don't know who, who did the picture. But if you, if that guy came out of the womb and was a little five-year-old and looked at that and said, I'll never achieve that, then it would never have got done. Take little steps and be kind to yourself. So, where was I going with this? Yeah, so I started working out, started feeling a little bit better about myself, had a bit of better self-talk. Started going, you know what, I am capable. You know, where I was a year from now, I'm here. I didn't think I would be in this situation. Wow, I really am capable. Really, I, I am I am capable of achieving a life that I want. Oh, well, what have I been doing? Taking small little steps. I'll keep doing that. I'll add little things into my day that just improve how I feel. So when it comes to that moment where I was like, right, I'm ready to go out into the world. I started off with small things. Like instead of working out at home, I'd go to the gym. Just being around people, was quite a big step for me because I hadn't for such a long time. And then I'd go, you know what, I'll meet up with old friends. And I'd make a Facebook at the time and I was like, hey man, do you fancy, you know, hanging out, seeing how you're getting on? 
and I'd go and talk to an old friend from school. We might be on different pages entirely, but it was a step for me in healing myself and getting myself into a more normal situation where you're interacting with people. And then I'd go, right, what am I interested in? Let's find groups that were of interest to me, whether it was about, uh, like at the time I was interested in what this vegan movement was about. So I was like, oh, well, maybe I should go to a, a, a festival and interact with people and see how I feel. And, and then I just took it from there. But I think the, the earlier steps were the most important where it was just little things that you can do, whether it's going to a supermarket or um, interacting with an old friend, just walking in town, maybe walk to a local park and have a work, just getting yourself used to being around people. And when you're feeling better and you're feeling better about yourself, you're talking to yourself in a more positive way and then you're starting to interact with people, especially people that you've had in your life previously and then going out even further and then the rest is history and that's what how I got myself out of that situation. So I hope that's helpful for you. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to my videos. And I really appreciate you guys watching. I've got a lot to give and it's my passion. Getting through bullshit, distilling my information is what I really want to do. Really get it down to the nitty gritty. What is it that someone can take away in a few minutes to improve their life? Thanks for watching guys, really appreciate it. And I'll see you next video.